UN Plaza certainly isn't considered the safest area in town. It's not unusual to see open air drug use and illegal vending at all hours of the day. But tonight, the city is trying to change that image with spinning teacups, a Ferris wheel, and fried food. Our Kate Kelsey Thorod was at the opening night of the Civic Center Carnival and asked people if this does anything to change their minds about the neighborhood. Well, city officials say the goal of this weekend's carnival is to help really boost a neighborhood that often doesn't have many events like this. They are hoping that families can come out here and enjoy their neighborhood without any fear of drug use or crime. And we spoke with a lot of parents that say they appreciate that. They are excited about this carnival, but they also want the city to do more to help clean up this area every day of the year. Jose Adriazola is one of many parents who brought their children to the opening day of San Francisco's Civic Center Carnival. I think this is great for the children and for families, especially that live in the area. Jose doesn't live in the area, but is opening a restaurant nearby. He says he sees how the streets can get and is happy to see the city doing something to try and help. I think it definitely helps because if this wasn't here, we will have a completely different crowd here right now doing other things that are not necessarily appropriate or legal for that matter. But even with the carnival, it doesn't take long to see what Jose is talking about. Walk a few blocks in any direction and you'll still see dozens of people lining the sidewalks. Kyla Butler sees it every day. Give me better. Yeah. Better, better, especially with all the drugs going on, all the crime rate going on, it could be better. Kyla lives in the neighborhood with her young kids and says if it weren't for the carnival, she wouldn't be out here. At the park, maybe, but other than that, I, don't, I wouldn't just walk around. Kyla told me she's trying to move out of the neighborhood, but in the meantime, she really does appreciate the city hosting events like this. It gives her kids a safe place to have some fun outside. She just wishes there were events like this every day. A lot of more community things, like besides this, I don't know, um, maybe more things for the youth. Now the carnival will be open through Sunday. City officials say they expect between 500 to 1,000 people to come out here every single day. They say, of course, they know that there's still a lot more they need to do in this neighborhood, but they hope this carnival brings a little joy to families this weekend. So if you plan on heading out, you have to spend a minimum of $10 on food or rides to get into the carnival. Kids under 12 are free.